this is a good news for all travelers out there who have a plan to enter Canada. So you stay with me until the end of this video because uh, I'm going to talk to you some uh, information. Uh oh, it's raining. I'm about to drop my kids in school, but it's raining outside. Summer in Canada and it was raining, so it's good. This is my cute umbrella. I can't believe I have this umbrella. Just loving my umbrella, guys. <laughs> like an Asian umbrella. I use this when I go and drop my kids in school, and this is. And those parents, like, oh my god. Parents was asking me, where did you buy that? I said, well, I just bought somewhere else in Asian store, and it's only $3. Yeah. Oh, how can I get in there? Good. It's nice to have a rain. We need in our plants. Okay, so if you have a plan to come to Canada anytime this month of July, this is good news for you guys, okay? Start on July 5th, this year 2021. You can enter Canada if you are fully vaccinated. I mean to say your first dose, second dose is all done, okay? So uh, you can enter Canada without staying in a three days hotel in Canada. So this is awesome, guys. So you can save money instead of going to a hotel quarantine. You can go straight in your home, but you need to have a plan where you're going to stay for your 14 days quarantine because you still need to have to stay in a uh, in your own home or whatever place you're going to do your uh, 14 days quarantine okay in order for you to be eligible to enter Canada they only accept four uh, vaccines in Canada okay Pfizer Moderna AstraZeneca and Johnson & Johnson that's only the vaccine they accept here in Canada so if it is one of those type of vaccine you finish in your own home back home then that is good for you okay because they have different type of vaccines all over the world but so far that's only the vaccine that accepted here in Canada okay so 72 hours before your arrival in Canada you must already enter the information okay it in the it's on the arrive can so otherwise if you don't have that information on your arrive can apps you won't pass the exemption so meaning to say you still need to go to a hotel quarantine it has to be the government authorized hotel in Canada so in the arrive can details uh it was stated that your first dose your country your second dose your name of the vaccine uh you receive okay and you have your receipt or pictures wow that's too much huh <laughs> so I mean to say you have to download in your mobile phone the arrive can so i don't know the elderly people who don't know how to use this one you might as help from the people who are expert how to do this in your cell phone okay because uh, i believe not all people are using those uh high technologies or uh like especially elderly people who have you cannot download if you're using like a simple cell phone you cannot download um those apps they don't have apps so i don't know you have to consider that okay grandparents <laughs> i think you have to consider buying a cell phone that you can download apps so you can uh, download that in your mobile phone they will get the details the information your birth date your travel document your travel date you know something information something like that okay guys okay i'll see you in canada whenever <laughs> so i hope you guys complete all the requirements in order for you to be eligible so you don't have to stay in a hotel quarantine and save money okay <laughs> so whoever you are travelers uh enter canada or planning to come in canada this is only just a quick information for you guys so you can do more research about the travel updates here in canada uh you do more research okay because anytime will change the travel rules so how about those people who don't have any dose no vaccine at all like me <laughs> like me yes <laughs> so uh before arrival to canada you have to make sure you have your test negative test result before you check in you have to have your test uh, you have to present your test negative re test result and you need to present to them the three days uh, government uh, quarantine hotel here in canada upon arrival to the port of your entry here in canada they will do a swab test to you okay so while waiting for the result of your swab test you stay in that uh, government uh, quarantine hotel where you book okay 
you stay there for either one day two days or three days you have to pay that three days hotel in canada so when it's everything is negative you still need to continue your quarantine in your own home so after eight days you will do the self test the swab test to yourself okay they will instruct you anyway upon arrival to the port of your entry in canada so after eight days in your home from the hotel you do your own swab test okay self so upon arrival to the port of your entry here in Canada, they will give you um, they will give you a test kit. This is uh, you have to. They will instruct you how to do. Okay, you have to bring that home. When the test result is negative, then it's good for you. But you still have to follow whatever uh, provinces and cities where you live in Canada. Okay, because in every province here in Canada, they have their own restrictions, and you need to follow okay so that's all but as i said if you finish all your first and second dose of your vaccine you are free no hotel okay so so non-essential travelers it is not advisable to enter canada so canadian citizen permanent residents work permit visa like the people who are coming here for work with their work permit visa can enter canada okay so for non-essential travelers Please stay on your own home for now, okay? Sorry, <laughs> I have to get inside. It's raining and pouring. See you guys. Bye and God bless you. Bye-bye. Take care.